so in the question if they tell you to create forms they create forms and it's where you should put your information this is what we do so you come here if we are going to create forms in the department table you come on the department table like the way it is then you come here and create we want to create forms so you tap on form wizard and then they will bring you here tables you choose either the department table or the lecturer's table if you choose the lecturer's table this is what will be there if you it's what will be on the form but if you choose the department table this is what will be on the form so we are going to start with the department table yeah so this this form is for the available fields so we have to put it in the selected field so you tap on this one they all come this side after that you tap on next yeah you leave that the way it is then you tap on next and then you tap on finish yeah so they bring for you the form department id department id let's use d d zero one department one name business computing then you come here down here it shows that that, that, that it is form one of one so you tap on next to get the next form yeah you get form two of two so you come here you name the department it's d d zero two department two then you come here with the name business administration business administration yeah then you come here to get another one another page three of three d zero three name marketing you go to the next page the next form d04 sorry not there here d0 d04 then the name hospitality You go to the next, like cut up to the number that I've told you. You follow the question. So for us, we are going to assume five. D zero five. Management science. Management science. So we are done creating the forms. We stop there. So you come here on save and then save. Yeah, we've saved it. So you come here and then close it. Yeah. Let's see if they'll save themselves in the table. We tap on the department table. Yeah, they have saved themselves department ID, then the department name. Yeah, so we close. Then we are assuming that they also told us to create forms in the lecturer's table in all tables. So we go to the lecturer's table. Lecturer's table, then we tap on Lecturer's table, we come here, we tap on create, and then we 
form wizard then they bring for you this then you choose lecturer's table it has chosen itself so yes then we remove them from available fields so the selected fields by tapping here they come this side then we tap on next yeah you just tap on next and then finish yeah it has brought itself lecturer's id surname first name and all that yeah lecturer's id you can put anything let me say bd one one two then surname speak first name montel then the gender gender it up here and they bring for you options male date of birth you can type in anything you can you, you type in what was given in the question but here we are just assuming so let me take that then qualification qualification let me say mis and then the department the department you you have to put the depart one of the department ids that we're using from d01 up to five so let's put d02 yeah then after you come here down to go to the next form next yeah so the next one is called washington sorry the id let me say ws42 surname surname is washington the first name is jan gender male the date of birth you can put what was given in the question but since here we don't have we assume qualification bba department id you choose one of the department ids we had the zero four yeah we go to the next page id gh four seven five seven then the surname ali the first name christabel gender female date of birth if it's given in the in the question you just type it yeah then the qualification mm, bbc the department id let's give a d zero one yeah, we go to the next form. Mm. Lecturer's ID FD three we two. I'm just assuming those ones, but if they're given in the question, that what you put. Then the surname mm, Zarango. The first name. Vashet Gender Female Date of birth Lad Qualification MBV Department ID mm, D01 
zero five yeah so those are enough so you come here on form tap on save you tap on save here or you press ctrl s they all work yeah, then you close here so we are done with creating the forms yeah, let's stop here to see if they appear yeah they appear the chara's id surname first name gender date of birth qualification department id so that is how we create forms in case they tell you in the question to create forms and put the information they give you the information you're supposed to put there yeah so that is how we create forms yeah thanks for watching we are going to look at something different in the next video